Kansas City has got something going on for sure. Uh, they, the way they uh, manhandled the Patriots in Foxborough, the Steelers never win in Foxborough. So, uh, and the Chiefs toyed with the Pats that night in the opener on that Thursday night. They toyed with them. They kicked their ass up and down the field. Uh, the Steelers have never done that. They've never even come close to doing that, like, like where they just go in and kick their ass and beat them senseless. So I, that game said a lot to me about the Chiefs. And um, I know the Steelers beat them, but I think they're uh, a year uh, removed from it, and I think they're uh, angry about it. I think they are playing like they're angry. Uh, they certainly have a better running game with Hunt than they've had in a while. This is like going back to Charles Circa, his first couple of years in the league when he was a buck and a quarter and a night. Uh, I just think there's, uh, their defense means business, and I have to admit, you just have to admit, Alex Smith's playing the best uh, football of his life, and this is why he was drafted number one in the NFL when he came into the league uh, out of Utah. He looks uh, fantastic and totally in control of that offense, and they're well coached uh, from Andy Reid, and I, you know, if the Steelers had to go through them, uh, I think they lose, and if they have to go through the Patriots and Foxborough, they lose. If they play the Patriots, in my opinion, in uh, Hines Field, uh, let's say the Steelers got the the divisional uh, semi at um, or the conference final at, let's say for some somehow they got the Patriots at Pittsburgh. I think they could beat them there. But I don't think they can beat him in uh, Gillette. I don't think you can beat Tom Brady in January in Foxborough. Um, I think you can beat him uh, like the Chiefs beat him, but nobody else has uh, figured out how to beat him. The Carolina beat him now. I'm starting to see like definite leaks in the ship. Uh, they do not look to me at this point to be a... Um, uh, to me, they don't look like a championship football team uh, for some reason, at least not yet. So uh, I'm not buying, frankly, uh, the, the, the Patriots this year at this point. I'm not. There's better teams than them right now uh, that are starting to come to fruition, right? And I think they're overrated. Uh, every single game they play is a problem for them. Uh, the Houston game was a problem, was it not? The Carolina game was a problem for them. The Kansas City game was a problem for them. The only game they've had that wasn't a problem for them was the Saints game on the road. Now, we're going to find out a lot about them on Thursday night in Tampa. They're laying five and a half to the, uh, the Buccaneers. If they don't beat the Buccaneers, I'm telling you, they're not winning the Super Bowl. If they keep losing, they're not winning the Super Bowl. You know, teams that win the Super Bowl, uh, even them, they don't lose this many games, right, early in the season. They don't. You, you find out who they are in the early part of the season. End of the season, that's where the money's made, right? So that's all that matters. I'll give you that. But if they don't get their act together, they won't even make the playoffs. I mean, they've already got two losses, right? I mean, how many can you lose before it's a problem? Five? If you lose five and you're 11 and five, you may not make it in the AFC. I'm telling you, if you're 10 and uh, six, you may not very well, either 10 or 11 and five, you may not, 10 and six or 11 and five, you may not make it. I'm serious. It's no joke. 